Hey everybody, I did a video yesterday, uh, screwed up again. I did a video yesterday with Stella. Stella and a friend of ours named Dana, we did a cooking video. We did a cooking video on Vite, okay, which is peanut butter soup, okay? It's peanut butter soup, but boys, you're not going to believe the stuff that goes in this soup. It has swordfish, it has shrimp, it has... All kinds of mixed vegetables, of course, lemon juice, lime juice, limon, whatever. Turn peanut butter, real peanut butter that was that's handmade peanut butter, not this store bought crap that you buy at Mega Maxi. And when we got over to this beautiful apartment here in Marcia Lago at Dana's apartment, it's got this spacious kitchen on these beautiful countertops, marble tops, and beautiful kitchen and I used separate microphones to record the audio and when I went to sync the audio with the video we did it by clapping the hands because I don't have one of those little Hollywood things you know and I forgot to hit the record button on my GoPro I'll be right back hey oh rocket cheek hello there So, yeah, I screwed up again. It's not the first time, but hey, you know, it's like we worked so hard and we spent money for goods, all kinds of stuff. We went shopping at two different places, and coincidentally, I've not done any videos on either one of these places. One of them is Total Crioli, which is a small marketplace in downtown Monta where you can go and buy all kinds of bulk foods, seasoning, seeds, a, it's everything you think of but like in quantities okay and we went from there to the Mercado I've never done a video on the Mercado so you get to see that today so the, I'm going to show you our little shopping trip it's going to be a short video but at least you get a feel for what it looks like in the Mercado I'm going to tell you right up front okay I'm not impressed by the Mercado now, I know it's a tradition, so I've been here for years and years, and it's the way to shop in Ecuador. But, it, it you know, the, my problem with it, it's, it's not so bad for the fruits and vegetables, but what I don't like is the part where all the meat is. The meat hanging there, flies all over the place, chickens laying there all colored, out, you know, they're beat up in the air. And it's like, I, I wasn't impressed. I don't feel safe. Doesn't, I, I wouldn't need anything that came out of that place. Anything. So, but upstairs at the Mercado, there's fruits and vegetables. And at least those, you can wash them and sterilize them. And, and that's what we did. So we bought all this stuff there. And that's what this video is about. And I'm going to show it to you now. Thank you. 
Okay. Yeah, this pita maya. That's also pita maya, but I prefer this one. But it's nice inside to so decorate. Yeah, and this one is what? This one here is one hour lunch. One hour lunch. Oh, and it's so good. And they say it's for cancer. It's papaya, and then here we have a palo santo for the mosquito. Wait a minute, is this? Looks like it cooked peanut butter when it hit the water. Yeah. Let's see if I can find some more pieces in here. So just in case I wasn't recording, I think I was, but just in case I wasn't, let's just recap what we did so far. Okay. You put all of the stuff that takes a while to cook first first in the pot like the potatoes the carrots the lima beans and then you put in the other stuff that you had sauteing in the skillet that was tomatoes and what what else uh, green green beans green beans lima beans, lima beans carrots 
Yeah. And then so you pureed that in the blender. Yes, and then put it in with peanut with the peanut butter. With the peanut butter. And then you're now you can blend that. Now you add it to this is how oh, it's hot. Make it. I should put cold water. Okay. The saute was tomatoes, onions, garlic, and green peppers. Always make sure the lid is on your blender. <laughs> that would be a waste of soup or margarita. So now I'm going to put the fish. Okay. okay. And it takes like 15 minutes to do the fish here. Okay. What about the potatoes and the uh, other vegetables? When do they get it? No, put the potato right now. Oh no, put the potato and the fish. Okay. First the potato. So you said something earlier that some people, instead of using potatoes, they use... They use uh, yuca? yuca. Yuca. Because yuca is number one in here. <laughs> Look at Oh my God. <laughs> yuca That's is more dangerous traditional to have that than there. Uh, potato here. Huh? Yeah, they use lots of yuca here. Yuca, they love yuca and plantain. They yeah. eat plantain here. Uh, yeah, it's, like, it's a sport. Yes, yes, you yeah, wait a minute. I'm gonna put some... Uh, Salt and pepper here. And that's swordfish. Uh, right. This is swordfish. Yeah. Yes. And you said there's a local person that sells this that will deliver it. Yes. To your home. You deliver it to your home. Like I said, it's they, the the fishermen go and take it to them and they process it and then they sell it the one day after because they freeze it first. So I'm gonna put. I forgot that I need to put comino. I have comino here and cilantro. Mm. Oh yeah, we have this. Mm. Comino, no, we're not putting. We're not putting cilantro. We don't put it. We're gonna put it later on because uh, he doesn't. He's allergic to cilantro. Oh. So yeah. So we're gonna put um, some comino. What comino, is comino? comino. What, what, you, what is comino? Comino is uh, cumin. Yeah, cumin. Okay. Exactly. And um, um, what's the name of this? Oregano. 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 And this is like a. This seasoning is for the uh, biche and for encebollado. So it's uh, salprieta? Yeah. No, 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 it's salprieta. No, it's just a seasoning for encebollado. Okay. okay. So here we are. Is it is it boiling? It doesn't look like it. I'm making a mess. I'm sorry, Dana. No, it's no problem. So let's just Mouse wait until it spoils Mouse a little. Alert. Yes. Don't step on the cat. Master, he smells fish. He thinks it's time for his meal. <laughs> so what about, I noticed that you got all these peppers and you've already added those, right? Yeah, we put everything okay. uh, in there. So only we only need to put, we can put this also right now. So we're going to put this also, okay? Because this soup has lots of vegetables. Yeah. And instead of putting the corn, the pieces of corn, mm -hmm. it's better to put the corn like that. It'll be a lot easier to eat. Yeah, so it's like, like my way of beacher, you know. Because some people that are gonna see this here, they, they wanna make it. Put this in here. Is it spicy or? It's spicy. It's just a, you, you find it. It's like a seasoning salt. It's a seasoning, but it's for, for encebollado okay. and for biche. And they use it for stew also. Is this something you find in the US and here or is this strictly in Ecuador? Product? Here in Ecuador, Ecuador and in Peru. Usually it's from Peru. Yeah. 
And they sell this in Supermaxi and just uh, Yeah, they sell it in Supermaxi. Okay. You you will see it, it says uh, seasoning for encebollado. Okay. Very good. Look how many look 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 that's the oh, fish. Nice. And look how much vegetables there is. Swordfish holds together well. Yeah, that's yes. why I need it. You know, our favorite fish to do in uh, beaches is albacore. So now we need a spoon. It needs lots of salt? Or? Yeah. What do you need? Solvente Maria. Comino. Right here. I'm going to need a little bit more comino. Cumin is something we traditionally relate with chilies. And Indian food, they eat a lot of cumin. And then we're going to put... Um, Some more oregano? Yeah, but they don't want to put some. So that smells nice. And you buy so this at Super Maxi too. Are you remembering all of this, Dana? Yeah. In my Photographic memory. Yeah, photographic memory. <laughs> we'll um, make a list of everything. That yeah, you it, it'll have. be in the description. The whole recipe will be in the description. I'm going to tell you. More so. Why don't you do like, why don't you yes, pour it in your hands? Yes. There you go. It's so hard to tell how much you're getting when you just sprinkle it. Yes. You got to do like. Yeah, yeah like the real chefs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> just throw it in. Well, we're just, just people cook. <laughs> We're not chef. Okay. More oregano or no? Mm, yeah, we're gonna just put some more oregano. And we know, we, you know that we put like maybe five or six garlic, mm -hmm. and we uh, blend it, and that's garlic. Do you have, do you have oregano? Well, yeah. I got enough here. I got enough. Be a lot of soup. It's interesting to think of peanut butter being in a soup. That's just no. something that growing up you never would think about. But here they use it in so many it, dishes. They use it here in so many dishes, and it's all salty dishes. We don't make a cakes or cookies with peanut butter. Mm -hmm. And they say they use the peanut butter to make peanut cookies. Butter, chocolate Best chip cookie cookies. Cookies. on earth. <laughs> and even ice cream cookies. or peanut cream. butter and jelly sandwiches, peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Nothing savory. It's always sweet. Now it's peanut butter. Reese's peanut butter cup? Yeah. <laughs> peanut butter with peanut butter is really good. <laughs> Thank you. Let me move this. Before one of us gets Yeah, before she rips that her. dress right off of her. <laughs> one of us and this, her. ladies and gentlemen, is Stella. <laughs> All natural. With no clothes on. <laughs> I want to get it right oh. on you. Taste uh, so I can't uh, pretend it tastes good. Catch me while I burn my tongue. Oh, it smells really, really good. My cat's what trying to go through the window. <laughs> He's chasing his toy. I can taste the fish. You peanut can? butter is yeah, I can taste the fish already. And the peanut butter is a mild, but you can definitely taste. Maybe a little more salt. Maybe a little more salt? Yeah. For me. You don't worry about the salt. Mm. That's gonna be good. I should worry about the salt, but you more salt like this. Yeah. Mm. That's interesting flavors. Should I squeeze some lime juice? Yes, yes, no, you can. Squeeze it with? It looks like an orange, but it's tart. Do you have. Yeah, that's delicious. Do you have the. Uh, Don, you should try that. Bean. Bean. This is hot. Yeah, I can smell the fumes. 
Mara, like the Filipinos or the mm -hmm. Indonesians, but yes. Or the Mexican, the Mexican eat hard. Mm -hmm. And you said this ahi recipe is not Ecuadorian, it's, did you say Peruvian? No, I mean, it's Ecuadorian, it's Paris, it's, it's We need a bigger bowl. Take a cilantro. Yeah. Okay. So the, the cilantro is completely clean, okay? So now we're gonna chop, 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 chop. The cilantro. juice? No, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smell for the camera. Oh, okay. A bit more. That's it. That's just worse. Needs to be squished. Like this. Mm -hmm. See, they try it and see if it is so more salt or. Oh, you got the claw out that time, didn't you? I think it tastes good. Do we want to make a small separate batch without cilantro? No, because uh, I know that he doesn't like lemon either. Oh, okay. No lemon, no cilantro. Okay. So now we're here relaxing in the balcony of Dana, looking at the Pacific Ocean. And uh, this is usually what the Ecuadorians do traditionally on, on a Sunday. They make biche, they make ceviche, they, all the family comes, the grandkids, grandmother, and then they relax and have fun. So, salute. Salute. So while the soup is on, finishing cooking, you can have time for your family. Yeah, and your exactly. Friends. The fish, while the fish is cooking, it's almost done. You can get drunk and high. Yeah, and then, okay. and then you say, oh, it's good, this soup, and then so, you say, you don't it. remember. <laughs> no, just do this. Um, Smoke a couple of joints. Sí. Moderación. Pills. Pills. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Moderación. Exactly. Moderación. So, mi amiga aquí, muchas gracias. Mi hermana. Thank you. Mi hermana. I'm going to serve the soup, okay? Okay. I understand. This one has uh, shrimp and uh, chick uh, fish. Swordfish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tomato, tomato potato. So that's it. Exciting, huh? Way to go, Don. I will redo the video. Uh, if I can uh, talk Dana into letting us use her kitchen again, we'll have to do this all over again, but the next time I'll make sure that I do my part right. I completely screwed up, and I apologize for that because I'm telling you, this viche that we ate was the most awesome dish I've had in I don't know how long. So I promise you I'll do it soon, okay? If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, I don't blame you. Okay? See you on the next one. Ciao, ciao. So regal.
<laughs> get him in trouble. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Don's getting